Hey there again, welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and what we're looking at is the Takayuki VG10 Hammered Wa, or Japanese handled Kangata, kind of like a Bunka style uh, 200 millimeter knife. So uh, this has a core steel, the hardcore cutting steel, central steel or center uh, of the layers is VG10 full stainless at around 60-ish Rockwell. The construction is a uh, softer stainless uh, multi-layered cladding on either side of that uh, core steel and it's got a hammered pattern to it and also a Damascus layered finish when you look on the blade road we will get a look at that it's a very interesting looking knife uh, weights and dimensions can vary a little bit on these but this one's 156 grams or 5.5 ounces the edge length is right about 200 or 7.9 inches just under 8 inches the overall length is about uh, 360 millimeters with this handle and uh, the spine thickness it's pretty well just the same all the way through it's about 2.1 millimeters all the way across you, this is the reverse sword kind of tip, reverse tanto tip on this. And you can see the grind on these is pretty generous. So you can see the grind kind of starts up here and just kind of goes all the way down. And it gets pretty thin at the uh, at the tip. So they, they ground that down nicely at the, the tip for performance. And you can see, again, you've got a fairly generous grind on these. You've got the hammered part coming down into, and it's a subtle pattern here, but there's your Damascus pattern. It's pretty polished, so these lights are going to kind of reflect quite a bit, but you can kind of see that polish on it. Um, fairly generous blade height, about 49.6 millimeters, almost 50. So you can see you got lots of clearance for your fingers on a cutting board. Handle's really nicely done. It's an octagonal maple with a red pack of wood, which is unusual. Um, type of wood. It's it's less red uh, than the Masakage Yuki type pack of wood, but it's uh, kind of a reddish brown. And uh, nice fit and finish uh, and sanding on the handle. Uh, it's tight on the install. Nice job there. So if you'll notice, they also left a little bit of a gap there where the tangles in. That's called a maki or machi. And uh, that's kind of an old school handle type install, so there's nothing wrong with this install. That's a nod to the old style handle install. I think it looks pretty awesome. You've got a really good kind of smooth transition here into this curve for the choil from the neck. So you've got a great spot here for your finger for a pinch grip. The uh, handle circumference is about 73 millimeters or 2.9 where the ferrule meets the main handle wood. Uh, the balance point on this is going to be right about there. And so you can see it's pretty close to my pinch grip, maybe a touch behind my pinch grip, uh, but not kind of a nice neutral, nimble feel to it. Uh, the blade's actually quite stiff. Uh, it's very straight. It's got very nice fit and finish. It's pretty thin at the edge. It's a neat knife. Uh, they've got some rounding and polishing on the spine, a lot of rounding and polishing on the choil. A uh, good 6 out of 10 edge on it. It's nice and sharp out of the box. Let's see if we can get a beauty shot here. It's uh, tricky with the shininess of the polish of the blade, but we'll go with that. And so they've got some um, etched in kanji and uh, name on it. On the right side of the blade, the left side of the blade does not have any wording or logos or kanji on it. But you've got your hammered finish into where it starts grinding, getting ground down towards the edge. You can see that layers. It's a subtle layer, which is kind of cool. Some of these have like etching on them, and the layers are really pop. But this is kind of cool because it's subtle. So it's a little, di little bit different, but it's a neat blade. So let's look at it on our cutting board. So here's our profile. This is a well-made knife. It's very smooth on the profile. A little bit of a flattish area towards the back half. Um, the tip's quite low in relation to the center line, so you know, you're not going to get real high on this one. Uh, you could probably tweak your edge on there and maybe upsweep towards the last couple of millimeters to maybe give yourself a little more room, but uh, this one is not about like pure rocking, but you can, you can get medium rock, me medium low on it, but it's real smooth for push-pull cuts, that kind of stuff. 
glide guillotine and glides uh not gonna be a pure chopper but it'll chop reasonably well for certain things so it's just a really interesting blade nice fit and finish cool looking package authentic wa handle so this is the takayuki vg10 hammered wa or japanese handle kingata uh, 200 millimeter knife